the mystery machine. <laughs> We're going to need a police headquarters, a city center, and a harbor. Hey, I'm Brickzar. And I'm They Might Be Bricks. Hey, They Might Be Bricks. What are you doing? I'm looking at this bus. As I really like it because it has all the advertisements on it. I said we need to have at least like two more. Yeah, we got a couple of buses, <laughs> is all. <laughs> so what are we doing? We are planning out our city. Yeah, we're going to start putting some of our buildings back. Now, these are all Lego sets. We haven't got to the part yet where we're going to do the custom stuff, but we're putting the sets out and seeing what we got. What do we got? We got a lot of old buildings, like classic. Then we got some smaller buildings. At like We got the city square over there. Then we got the public transport trains. Oh, we have some houses and buildings in there. We got the 18 van right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can just stop with that. <laughs> Which set was that? That, well, I think that's the city square. Oh, yeah, it's in the city square. That's right. And then, and these bins, which you were showing before, we have a lot of stuff in there. So we got a lot of work ahead of us getting this out. I do have plans to have adding an addition to our table, uh, but... Just wanted to go ahead and start getting some things on the table and just making an inventory and seeing what we got. Uh, a lot of this stuff will be stuff we've already reviewed. Did we review this? I've done that twice. Okay, I kind of you do it. But yeah, you should put that on your channel. You were the one that gave me the idea. We actually got, when we first got it, we did not have the actual Max figure. This is like the main, this is like my favorite figure that Lego's made. Like the pockets? Besides, besides uh, Pepper. I should have used that for my legs. Instead of just a plain tan. So I guess the first thing is kind of figuring out what'll fit. Now, one thing, uh, if I had to do it all over again, I would make the table be multiples of 10 inches because a base plate is 10 inches wide, and that's what my lug does. Their tables are 40 inches by 40 inches, so it'll hold 16 base plates. Uh, but my table, I just uh, was efficient with a four by eight piece of plywood that's four foot by eight foot yes i live in the united states we don't use metric system i don't understand <laughs> but um so it makes it where it's kind of hard to have uh, the base plates because show them uh, stack three base plates across there and I'll, I'll show them what i'm talking about we're going that way yeah i just So this section here is, I think, 32 inches. So there's two inches left over. We could probably just like fit like, I don't know. You could have an inch where it's an inch on either side, but then you run into the problem because this side is 32 inches. So it's like I got a, it's 30 inches would be good, and but I got an inch to spare on either side. So it's really not that bad. Uh, it's just maybe maybe I could just say like I did 30 inches with. A, just those couple extra inches. And it's uh, kind of a protection, so we won't, if we, we won't be, it'll be easier not to drop something. <laughs> oh, stuff will be dropped. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to give an update. I uh, know I haven't done anything with the city in a really, really long time, and we were never really consistent with it. Uh, but I'm getting to the point now where I have a more permanent location for things. So we got the table going here. I was doing a lot of train stuff on it, and so now we're going to put the Lego, and then pretty much the Lego is going to stay, uh, with the exception of I still have some other things to do as far as finishing this area, namely the ceiling. But I can kind of work around it. I'm, I'll have to move some things to put the ceiling up, but I just don't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> the walls are the main thing because you can hold the camera. It's such a way that you don't see the ceiling, so that's okay. So the way this works, now I don't know if you'll see this view as much. I still have to finish putting my doors. I got my doors leaning over there. Um, but this is kind of our studio area. The way I originally envisioned it, I'd have the table and I could turn those umbrellas from the table towards the city. And I have other umbrellas that I can put over here. I am going to work on getting more lighting I don't like these lights these lights are uh, fluorescent I'm going to replace those with the uh, LED lights but the LED lights aren't as bright so there's only two lights and it lights up pretty good I can see good enough down here but I don't know how to be in a video 
So one thing is making best use of the space. So I finally figured out a way to make use of my shelving in these drawers. Now most of these, uh, these color, you know, the, you got red, blue, yellow, and then the friends colors there. Most of these are empty. So I got plenty of storage space here to start sorting out maybe sm small parts. And I'm going to use my little number and letter uh, kits to label these perhaps. I don't know. And then on top of it, I put the stack on. These, some of these had wheels, and I took the wheels off and just set them up here, the taller ones. And then I got sets just temporarily stored up here on top of that. And I'm going to work on consolidating some of these drawers. Some of these, uh, like this, was stuff that was in my BrickLink store. My BrickLink store is so scattered, I can't open it right now. I can only uh, find specific things and then maybe... Uh, did I say that already? No. Huh? No, I was like, the only thing I'm able to do is talk about it. Oh, yeah. I, I don't... Really, what I, I... To be honest with you, what I'm doing is I'm making my BrickLink store more and more disorganized so that I don't have to open it again. <laughs> I don't really want to open it. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to uh, consolidate some of these drawers, get them a little more organized. Now, some of these... Now, this was BrickLink here. This drawer is just where we just threw stuff in it. And a lot of this stuff was, they might be brick stuff. And then there's some sets we just put in there today. And then this is my personal stuff. I had things sorted by color and brick type there. And then this, these boxes aren't going to be here. I just slid them there temporarily out of the way. Because, see, I'm already blocking my stack ons And I already got stuff. See, I got stuff stacked here uh, in front of the stack ons But what it is, my, my city is going to come to here. And so a lot of this stuff will go under the city. And then with these boxes, I'm going to go through all those sets. That's uh, mostly sealed sets. And I'm going to go through which ones we're going to keep, which ones we're going to build, which ones we're going to part out to build mocks and things like that. And then over here is another shelf. Uh, these were things that were in my BrickLink store. It's just all you're seeing is cardboard box. But... <laughs> <laughs> I, they're numbered and the, the parts are in there. So what are you doing? Uh, I was uh, finding minifigure parts. I found that thing from the uh, Lego Atlantis. What is the... Tell them what this is here that you're going through. This is our minifigure drawers. We got different drawers that have all minifigure parts in them and other stuff. You used to have it grouped by different things. Like I started up here, this top drawer was, was legs and then... I just kind of would start mixing the different parts and bags, but it's gotten all disorganized. This is when, if we're trying to make something, we're just looking for a random part. We look in here. Or, or if I buy a bulk lot and I've gotten what I need out of it, I'll take the extra minifigures and throw them in here. Open another drawer and show them. That's just a bunch of baggies. Anything interesting? <laughs> broken helmet. Yeah, there's there's broken pieces, chewed pieces. As far as I know, I could have Princess Leia's rare hair piece in there. I wouldn't even know it. A lot of old aqua ra aqua raiders and such stuff in mm -hmm. here. That next drawer. Did you drop your piece? This drawer won't open. Oh, you gotta lift it up. There's oh. a trick to it. There you go. This is like the drawer I mainly don't go to. It's not as much in there. I think that's where I started grouping the heads together. See all the heads. Actually, they're not. They're. They're. All I did was connect them. They're not really grouped. Oh look, you found the gold. There we go. <laughs> hey, you. You. You could. You've inherited that ability. <laughs> so that's the minifigure stack, not stack on, um, Sterilite container. That's the cat. What's wrong, cat? I don't even want to talk about this area.
Hey, you think I should show them under the table? Sure. Okay. <laughs> there. That's under the table. This is how you get to the little holes so you can access the back of the layout. So we'll go through there. And this wall here, there's a wall. I'm thinking about placing some shelving up there. Maybe two or three rows. We just got to see how high the city will go uh, with the buildings. And then it's hard to t get perspective. All you're seeing is a, t a taupe color wall right now. Some 9-volt track. Oh, go back under some. So under the, the table, I got stuff stored, uh, stuff that we eventually got to sort. Oh, so this is the other opening. See, there's where we were a minute ago. Oh, going back, Thomas. <laughs> Some roller coasters. Oh, it's hard. I'm getting too old for this. I need to do a haul. There's the crates you already saw. Uh, and we're back. All right, so we do have one problem. We don't have any roads. We don't know where the the crate is that had the roads. Was that in that video where I was going through the crates? We'll have to watch. We'll have to go back and watch that video. <laughs> I don't, the, uh, I'll like the modern road plates and even the old ones. Um... Uh, this is about all we found, so, and so we got to go find those. So anyway, that's um, our city slash room tour update, and thanks for watching this video. We're going to be doing a whole lot more Lego stuff, so be sure to stay tuned and check out They Might Be Brick's channel. He's the mastermind and the motivation behind all this, I was getting kind of lazy. Our whole city's going to be made up of these roads. Yeah, I think these are my favorite road plates. Yeah. I wish Lego would make a double pack of these. and then. The, in fact, I wish they would just discontinue the curve and the straight and yeah, the T-section. Just do these. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's an awesome idea. Yeah. We don't really think that. We're just saying that. Thanks for watching. We were. We could have run service news. Little boy, play with the baby so bad. Woman coming home, dad, I don't know when. But till we get together, this, we are going to have a good time, dude. I just spelled happy with my stick.